Welcome to Tarot and Chill. My name's Nisha, and this is a pick a card reading to find out what they think about you. I've got five groups for you to choose from today. Group one is some carnelian. Group two is this yellow stone. Don't really know what it is. Group three is some, um, I think it's snowy quartz. Something quartz. Group four, I don't know what this is, sorry. And then group five is this fossil. Please pause the video now if you need to take a moment to decide. Otherwise, I'll see you in your reading. All the timestamps will be in the description box or the comment section if you're using a mobile. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it really helps out my channel with YouTube's algorithm. Thanks for watching. This reading is for you if you chose the Carnelian. Let's see what cards you have. Your first song is Lucky Day, Love You Too Much. I've been dealing with the pressure Way too much to even measure Trying to keep it all in But you got me open Hopeless for you Hopeless for you I can't afford these losses that's just my ego talking You made my heart beat for you I almost cried too often I put too much in your hands So much regret in the end It's a shame for you it's a shame for me It's a blame on you I could say the same for me And then your second song is Jill Scott, I Am Not Afraid I am not afraid To be your future I am not afraid to be your soil In which you plant your seed Flowers they sprout from me My fragrance in the breeze You must nurture me, please the essence of glue I will stick to you Through earthquakes and moods If ever one thing was true From the fountain tarot, you have the star. From the Rider Waite Smith tarot, you have the Four of Swords. The Queen of Wands. The Seven of Cups. And Beginnings, which is the Fool from the Goddess tarot. Let me just tune in to your reading. It's a very soft energy, like really gentle. I feel like your person, the vibe I'm getting is like, they don't know, they kind of don't know what to do. And they don't, they kind of don't know how to act because they really cherish you, I'm feeling. And it's like they, they have these kind of protective feelings over you. I don't really know where this is coming from. It's just like an energy thing that I'm feeling. It's like they have this protective, protective feeling over you. And they're kind of cautious with you is the vibe I'm getting. Like they don't want to, 
upset the situation. But in terms of... In terms of what they're thinking about you, what they do think about you, they're trying to... Like, they're really trying to not let their feelings out, and I feel like it's because they really don't want to mess this up with you. But it's getting to the point where, with I'm not afraid, I think it's getting to the point where they can't hold it in anymore. And I feel like maybe they feel like they've done some things wrong, and maybe you've done some things wrong, and maybe they have some regrets. And yeah, I, I can't afford these losses, like they're afraid. Maybe they've done some things wrong and they're afraid that if they do anything else, that it will just make it even worse. And they feel hopeless for you. I feel like this person's quite emotional and quite a lot of emotion is coming through. It's already feeling quite... Quite, um, quite overwhelming. They think about you as somebody they could spend forever with. They think about you as someone they would stick with. They want to stick with you. They feel like, or they think, they think about what you guys could achieve together, what you could grow together, what you could do together. But there's a lot of confusion, confused energy, and I do feel like they don't really know what to do. And also, at the same time, they think about you as very beautiful and radiant and magnetic and Quite, um, this energy, this Queen of Wands energy, the Queen of Wands is very confident, very beautiful, very radiant, and quite intimidating. Can be quite intimidating. Especially, I, I would guess, if you're infatuated with her, she's probably very intimidating. So I feel like there's, this situation's probably at a little bit of a pause right now. This person's probably not really doing anything towards you, because they don't really know what to do. And I think they kind of don't know if there's anything still that they could do. Like maybe they think that it might have come to an end for some of you. But they still, they still see hope for the future, even if it has come to an end, but it's like, it's at a pause right now, but they still hold this positive vision for the situation, for the future. They think about you in a really, really positive light. They see you as radiant, beautiful, positive, uplifting, inspiring, exciting, creative. They think about you as somebody who, I feel like they think about you as somebody who kind of lights lights the way forward, but they're still confused. They're still confused, even though you're like a light to them. I feel like they think about, they think about having a fresh start with you. So if things have come to an end, they think about starting over. Or maybe they think about putting an end to something else in their life so they can have a new beginning with you. It could be that this person has a lot of options, so they think about you as one of their options and they're trying to choose, so they're kind of considering you compared to the other options, potentially, for some of you. For some of you, I think they fantasise about you a lot. They fantasise about having a fresh start and a new beginning with you. For some of you, I think they fantasize about going away somewhere with you. They fantasize about like running away and having a new start somewhere else. With the fool I'm seeing. For some of you, I think they don't quite trust that you're real. 
but at the same time they have very strong very strong feelings for you they think they think about a future with you for sure they definitely do I don't know if they think it's possible but they wish for it still you're still like a wish to them you're like a fantasy to them still they fantasize about you a lot they think you're really beautiful and physically they're physically really attracted to you and they think about you in that way a lot they fantasize about you in that way a lot their thoughts about you are very positive as well i should say even if it's kind of ended and even if they have a lot of regrets they have positive thoughts about the future with you and they're still excited. There's a lot of excitement here. You really excite this person. But they do think right now it's time for a, like a pause. Or it is at a pause. And they're just kind of going along with the fact that it's at a pause. But with still a lot of hope for the situation. And a lot of inspiration and a lot of passion. But they're also a bit confused and they don't... They don't really know what's going to happen going forward, but they're open to all the po possibilities, all the potential. Whatever might happen, they're excited, open, open to it. So group one, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to let me know in the comments and like and subscribe, because that really helps with my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon in another reading. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the yellowy orange stone. Let's see what cards we have. The first song is Jojo, Leave, Get Out. I'm waiting all day for you, babe. So won't you come sit and talk to me? And tell me how we're gonna be together always. Hope you know that when it's late at night. I hold on to my pillow tight And think of how you promised me forever I never thought that anyone Could make me feel this way And then your second son is Nora Jones, come away with me I want to walk with you on a cloudy day In fields where the yellow grass grows knee high so won't you try to come, come away with me and we'll kiss on a mountain top. Come away with me and I'll never stop loving you. From the Virgin Tarot you have the Seven of Swords. On the Page of Cups. From the Rider Waite Smith Tarot you have the Queen of Cups. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. And then from the Goddess Tarot you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Very interesting. Earth and water energy. Just tune in to your cards. This person has very sweet, caring thoughts about you. It's really sweet. But at the same time, there's, um, it's an interesting energy because that you've got leave, get out, and then come away with me and the seven of swords. So I'm feeling the energy of like needing to get away from something. So in some cases, it could be like this person wants to get away from the relationship with you. But I think for most of you, it's not that. I think for most of you, for most of you, I think this person just wants, they want to go away with you from some other situation maybe. But I'm feeling an energy of this person watching you and looking at you and just admiring, admiring you. They really admire you. They think of you as so beautiful 
so beautiful with the combination of the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and then the Nine of Pentacles. This is an energy, especially if you're female, this is the energy of somebody who would be breathtakingly beautiful. That's how this person sees you. Like you really just take their breath away. They think about kissing you. They think about just like going away somewhere with you, walking with you, going to romantic kind of places with you. They think about they think about giving you love with the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups and this song and cherishing you and caring for you, I'm feeling. And they think about talking to you. They think about being with you always. But think of how you promised me forever. For some, for some of you, I feel like you might have let this person down or maybe they've let you down, potentially. So that might be what they think about. But for most of you, I think they think about being with you for a long time and going away with you. With the Page of Cups, it's like a very sweet, loving kind of feeling that they have towards you. Very innocent. They think about you as very sweet, very caring, very kind, very gentle, very innocent. Very kind of naive in a way. But at the same time, I feel like they have a lot of respect for you with the combination of these cards and with the King of Cups here. This is the energy of somebody who knows they understand other people's feelings. They understand a lot. They're just very kind and compassionate. So I don't think this person, this person definitely doesn't think you're stupid. They really respect you. They have a lot of respect for you. They think you're really smart actually with the Seven of Swords here. But I also feel like with the Seven of Swords, maybe they think you will run away from them. Like maybe they think about having this future with you, but they think, you won't stick around, or maybe you're deceiving them. Could be vice versa, take it how it resonates. But yeah, I do see this, this person kind of, especially if you're female and they're male, it's like they're just watching you. And they kind of they just look at you like, oh, you're so beautiful. Wow. And they just feel like humbled by your presence almost. There's also, yeah, there's nurturing. I think they, they think about you in a very caring, sweet way. Like they think about you in terms of how you're doing and what's going on in your life. And they kind of just have a little a concern about you. But at the same time, I think they think you care about them and that they really like. And they do really admire you. They respect you. They see you as really beautiful physically. Really, really beautiful. They think about the fact that you... They think about how you've got everything together to them. And I feel like they want to offer you something. They want to like talk to you about something. I feel like they've been waiting to talk to you about something. And they're thinking about that. I think you really got their attention. It's like out of a lot of people, you've got their attention. Because you're sweet and you're caring and they care about you, and they think you're really beautiful, like stunning, gorgeous, so beautiful. And they think about running away with you, or they think, they think they would, or they think you would run away from them, or 
they think about how they run away from you or something. Depends on your situation. Um, let's see if I'm getting anything else. They respect you a lot. They think about you with respect and admiration. Sorry, group two, my video died. Um, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to say. Basically, they look at you in a really, really positive light. They think about running away with you or how they run away from you or that you might run away from them. They want to offer you something. Um, I think they kind of think you're all right on your own and they look at you like you're kind of above them in some way. Like they feel kind of humbled by your presence and they just kind of sit and admire you instead of offering you anything, even though they'd like to. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the other content on my channel if this resonated with you. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This is your reading if you chose the snowy quartz or some kind of quartz. Let's see what cards you have. Your first song is Ben E. King, Stand By Me. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me, oh, stand, stand by me, stand by me. It's a classic, great, that. And then you have Kate Chinati, you're the one featuring Sid. I want you to want me, but you just gonna love me for the day. And I can just walk away Even though I know your trouble, babe So I'ma take my time Go with the flow, can't get too involved You gotta face that I Just can't say no to Pretty songs you've got. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune from the Fountain Tower. And the Page of Wands. From the Rider Waite Smith Tower you have the King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Already I'm getting very masculine energy from this pile. Then you have Justice and the Eight of Cups from the Goddess Tower. This person thinks you are the one, first of all. The one for them. They really want you. And they can't walk away from you. Even though the Eight of Cups here, I think I feel like they think you sh they should walk away from you. They think that they should try and avoid becoming attached to you, but they kind of can't help it. They feel really pulled towards you, drawn towards you, and they feel they feel a very genuine connection with you, with Stand by Me and Ace of Pentacles. This is like the kind of connection that won't go away. Like they think of you as somebody who they could have a relationship that would last forever with. And I feel like for a lot of you, you might be masculine energies and this person sees you as like 
the ideal man. They see you as really handsome. They see you as powerful. They see you as a great, someone who would make a great father, a great husband, somebody they would trust completely. I'm getting that vibe. No matter if you're male or female, this person would trust you, really trust you. They see you as very fair and just and they see you as somebody who has good intentions and is honest and is reasonable and has a balanced perspective, sees good, sees right from wrong. And because of that, they really trust you. They trust your decisions, they trust your advice. They see you as somebody who gives really good advice. They think of you as somebody they would go to if they needed advice. You're the sort of person they would trust and listen to. And yeah, they think, they think if you, you could be this person's dad and you're like asking about somebody and they think you're a great dad or they think you'd make a great dad. Potentially. And yeah, they trust you a lot and they feel like they don't want to walk away from you ever with Stand By Me. For some of you, this person, like for a very minority, this person might have some legal issues and they think about like whether you would stay with them if anything went wrong. That's for a, a really small minority, I feel like. With the Page of Wands, you really excite this person. And with the Wheel of Fortune as well, it's like, not only do they trust you and they feel stability with you, they feel like you're somebody they could have with them for a long time, but they also feel a sense of passion and excitement and like anything could happen with you. And like things will stay fun and spontaneous with you at all times. They have a lot of fun with you. They are very attracted to you. If it's not like a family, obviously if it's not a family member or somebody you're asking about, if it's a romantic interest, then they, they are very attracted to you. And they have a lot of passion towards you. And they really think about, I feel like they think about where you could go together, but at the same time they are, I don't know why, but they're trying to not get attached to you. But it's like they want to be with you forever and they think about you being with them forever. And they trust you. So I don't really know why there's this kind of energy of like, I don't know, there's something risky here with the Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Like maybe you guys are not together yet. Maybe maybe you guys just have a sexual relationship in some cases. Maybe you're like a friends with benefits. Yeah, I could see that. And they would like something more potentially, but they don't think you would. So they feel like they should kind of leave it behind, but they can't. You will know better than me because it's your situation. But this person really trusts you. They see you as somebody respectable, somebody who gives good advice. If you're a man, they think of you as like the perfect man, really handsome, a great provider, a great father, somebody who, yeah, somebody they would trust and also somebody really exciting, really fun. Someone they could go on adventures with, somebody that they can have playtime with as well as somebody who's stable and would provide and would be safe which is quite a rare combination. And also they trust your judgment. But there's also a sense of like needing to leave something behind or leaving something behind or like they feel like they should leave you behind or they think about having to leave you behind, something like that. Let me know in the comments because I'd be interested to know. Um... Yeah, with Stand By Me and the Ace of Pentacles, this person wants to hold on to you. They definitely don't want to leave you, so if it's like you are leaving each other or breaking up for any reason, then it's not because they want to, if that makes sense to you. 
they really want to hold on to you. I think that's all I have for you, group three. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. I hope to see you again in another reading soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose this stone, but I don't really know what it is. Let's see what cards you have. Your first song is Ashanti, Only You. Ooh, I can't wait to get next to you. Oh, I just can't leave you alone. Boy, you got me doing things that I would never do. And I can't stop the way I'm feeling if I wanted to. I'm crazy about the way that you could make me say your name. And if I couldn't have you, I would probably go insane. Only you can make me feel. And you have scissor garden, say it like that. Love me even if it rain, love me even if it pains you. I know I be difficult, you know I be difficult, you know it get difficult to open your heart up, hoping I'll never find out that you're anyone else. Cause I love you. Just how you are Hope you never find out Who I really am Cause you never loved me From the French and Terry you have The Six of Swords And the Three of Cups From the Rider Waite Smith Terry you have The Sun And six of pentacles. And then from the goddess tarot you have the two of staves. This person thinks about you as the only person they want. They think they're kind of crazy over you. Crazy over you. And They think about you being together no matter what. And they think about you in a very, it's a very pure way. They feel happy with you, really happy with you. And they think about you. They think about having fun with you. They think about going out with you and drinking with you. I'm seeing strongly with the sun and the three of cups. They think about you as their friend And they think about you as somebody who supports them. I'm seeing, you've got three sixes here, so I'm seeing that they see, they see really a strong sense of friendship and connection and harmony with you. A very balanced relationship. They think about you in a very balanced way. Yeah, you've got all the elements here. You've got wands, you've got pentacles, you've got cups, you've got swords, and you've got a major arcana. So this person, they really do think about you in a very balanced way. They think about you in every way. And they're really excited and interested in you. They have a lot of thoughts about the future with you. But I am seeing the potential with the Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. I'm seeing potential that Maybe this person is with someone else or maybe you're with someone else and they think about moving on to the future with you, like only you in the future. But it could be that right now, right now it might be that they have to kind of split their time between you and somebody else or something else, maybe work. Maybe just they're really busy right now and they, they're looking forward to the future when they'll have more time to spend with you, maybe. Doesn't have to be a third party situation, but, or like another relationship. 
But yeah, it does seem like they're trying to choose to an extent. Well, not trying to choose, but like they're somewhere and they're looking somewhere else. So maybe they're not physically with you, but they really want to be with you. If you're not with this person, they think about they think about only you. They would pretty much do anything for you. They're crazy about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They really do want to move on to the future with you. And I think they think about going away with you, going somewhere with you. This is a very romantic, sweet Six of Swords. I think they think about, if, if they're the masculine, I think they think about spooning you. That's very specific, but they think about like coming up from behind and just like cuddling you in a really sweet way. And then this Three of Cups makes me feel like a sense of support and harmony as well. It feels very caring, like you both celebrating together. That's what they'd like to do with you, they think about. They might think about times when you have been out and had a good time together and they really have fond memories of that. It makes them really happy. You make them really happy, I'm seeing. Just you, they think about you and it makes them super happy. Joyful. Well, they think about, they think about the fact that maybe they can't give you what you need, or maybe you can't give them what you need, or maybe there's just a delicate balance in the situation right now that they need to maintain. But they do think about a future with you, for sure, with these cards. They think about having you forever in their future. And they think that maybe things, maybe things have been difficult and maybe things are difficult, but there's like a lot of hope for the situation. And they still get a lot of joy from spending time with you. And they feel like you are friends, you are together, you support each other, you care about each other. You have a harmonious relationship. And they think about only you. They think about only you. I think that's all I have for you, group four. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the fossil. Let's see what cards you have. Your first song is Righteous Brothers, Unchained Melody. Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch a long, lonely time. In time goes by so slowly, and time can do so much. Are you still Your second 
song is Whitney Houston, I Have Nothing. Share my life, take me for what I am, cause I'll never change all my colors for you. Take my love, I'll never ask for too much Just all that you are and everything that you do I don't really need to look very much further I don't want to have to go where you don't follow, I will hold it back again. This passion inside can run from myself. There's nowhere to hide. And then you have an extra song, which is Pink Sweats Cocaine. You keep falling for the wrong type. No, I'm not saying you should be mine I'm just promising you good times I just want to show you good vibes Don't trust men, don't trust women Don't trust your heart, you never should have From the Fountain Tarot, you have the Three of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Six of Cups. From the Rider Waite Smith Tarot, you have the Star and then the Three of Swords again. And then from the Goddess Tower you have Sacrifice, which is the Hanged Man. Hmm. This has interesting energy. Try and articulate one scene. Um, with the Devil, we've got the Three of Swords flanking either side of the reading. And this one's very emotional. It's always emotional, but this one's like particularly watery, I'm seeing. And then you have this water card. There's a lot of watery energy here. And the songs are very, very emotional. So I feel like this person's very emotional about you. And their thoughts and feelings are all tied in together and they feel a lot of disappointment and heartbreak and they think they've let you down or they think that there's no... They, they have hope for the situation, but at the same time, it's like... It seems like it's kind of messed up and like they don't... There's a lot of hurt in this situation, I think. And they still have some positive thoughts and optimism, but there's a lot of hurt and they maybe feel like they have to let go of it. Or they maybe feel like there's nothing more they can do. There's no more action they can take. But there's a sense of longing. This person's really longing for you. I've hungered for your touch, a long, lonely time. This song has the energy of longing. Lonely rivers flow. Yeah, it's like super emotional and longing for you. I have nothing. Yeah, it's very, I don't wanna hold back. I don't want to hold back the passion, but there's some kind of disappointment. You keep falling for the wrong time. I don't trust your heart. So I feel like someone got hurt in this situation. I don't know who. Maybe it was you, maybe it was the other person. But if it, if, even if it was not them, like if they accidentally hurt you or they hurt you, they feel really bad about it. And they think about it and they think, oh, I messed everything up. 
And I think they think that they need to take control of the situation with the King of Wands here. They think about you still. They think about you still in a very sweet, gentle, caring way. They have feelings of love and friendship and compassion and understanding and care towards you, almost like your family. And yeah, they do think really positively about you still. But there's like a sense of a lot of disappointment, regret, pain, suffering. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but it's like the situation's been sacrificed. The situation's not really, like it's just a pause, the hangman's like, somebody who's put themselves in a position where they can't move for some reason. So it's like, that's what this person's doing. They're choosing not to move forwards, despite the overwhelming emotion. It's super overwhelming. And maybe they think you're the wrong type, like they think they've fallen for the wrong type. Or maybe they think they're the wrong type for you. But they do think they need to take some action towards you because they do still care about you. They think about you in a really positive way. They think you're really beautiful, really sweet, really kind, really caring. Maybe they also think about you as like somebody who's been through a lot of pain. Maybe they don't want to cause any more. Maybe they've been through a lot of pain and they don't want to go through any more and they're kind of afraid. Because being this in love is very vulnerable and it's like their hearts ripped open. It's a very positive reading, really, despite the double three of swords. I don't want you to take take it away as just heartbreak and pain. I feel like it's more like this person's this person's heart is being ripped apart and ripped open. But at the core, there's still this sense of love and positivity and optimism. I know this is meant to be their thoughts, but it's just very emotional. And I think they think they need to take some action, but it's not the right time right now. They're kind of just taking some time out and thinking about it and just... They're just allowing all these feelings to wash over them and let that influence them to take action. I hope that makes sense, group five. Please let me know in the comments. It'd be really great to hear from you and what your situation is. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon in another reading. Bye.